Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this classic and modern looking wedding cake inspired by the royal wedding. In a bowl, I'm adding in some dark chocolate and some heavy cream. I'll have a link to a video tutorial on how to make ganache in the description box below at the very end. Coating my chocolate, zapping it for 30 seconds and giving it a stir, popping it back into the microwave for another 30 seconds and continue this until it's nice and dissolved and blended through. I'm adding in some delicious Boodles Gin into my ganache, about one and a half to two tablespoons or to taste. Mix that through and then pop that into your fridge to set up completely. And it's a British Boodles Gin that really gives it that sort of royal wedding kind of effect. Onto uh, some acrylic discs or larger cake boards, I'm applying a four inch cake board and a six inch cake board stuck on with buttercream. That's because this is going to be a teared cake. Pop those into your freezer to set, and in the meantime we'll start building our cake. On a 10 inch cake board, I've added on an 8 inch cake that I've cut in 3, so I've only used one cake this time cut in 3, it's going to be a little bit shorter. Create a rim of buttercream around, and then into your set ganache I'm adding in a little bit of buttercream, just to make it a little bit lighter because I felt it was a very rich. Um, I've used pink buttercream, it doesn't matter what colour your buttercream is. Um, because you're using dark chocolate so you won't be able to tell. So never throw out your coloured buttercream, you can always use it for these sort of um, projects. I'm popping some into the centre of my cake and with a small spatula spreading it around right up to the rim that I've created with that white buttercream. The reason why I've added that ring is so that the dark buttercream doesn't reach the outside of the cake and it remains a nice white frosted naked cake. If you weren't going to add on this rim and you filled in with that dark chocolate ganache buttercream, uh, then you'll see it on the outside of the cake and it just looks a bit messy when you're trying to make a white cake. Make sure it's nice and flat, add on your final layer of cake, and then create your crumb coat. Because it's naked cake, it's a good idea to start with a thicker crumb coat and then kind of um, pull down that buttercream until you have the naked effect that you like. I like to start at the top and then work on the sides of the cake. Once I'm happy with how it's coated, I'll grab my frosting scraper and go around the cake to smooth it down so it's nice and neat. And then I'll bring that lip of frosting to the centre of the cake and pop it into my fridge to set completely. It takes about half an hour or so, 20 minutes. In the meantime, we'll work on our other two tiers. So I have a 6 inch cake and following the exact same steps and then a four inch cake as well. And these are on those cake boards that are the same size as the cake because they're going to be tiered cakes. Pop those into your freezer for at least 20 minutes because we'll be handling it with our hands and then pop a bubble tea straw into your cake. You'll see where it touches the frosting as you pull it out. Cut it there so that it sits nice and flush with your cake. Attach your tears on top, sticking them on with a little bit of buttercream. And this is why we froze them a little bit so that they're nice and firm and we can handle them with our hands and they won't dent. Step away, make sure that you like the arrangement and that it's all centered and then for the first table decoration I have some gold leaf and just touching it onto my frosting and it sticks beautifully. If your frosting has set up dry, for example if you left it at room temperature, then you might need to brush on a little bit of water to make sure that your gold leaf has something to attach to. With a 3 piping tip, start piping a shell border. I like to start at the back of my cake because I know that's where it'll end. And you always have that one shell right at the end that looks dodgy when you're trying to connect it. So that's why I always start at the back of your cakes. I did this for all three tiers around the very base. And then into a Ziploc bag I am adding some edible gold dust by Creative Cake Decorating. This is a champagne gold colour. Adding in my blueberries, my raspberries, giving it a good shake so they're fully coated and they come out as gold berries. You could do this with little chocolates as well, it comes out beautifully. I am arranging at the very top like a crescent moon with those fresh berries and strawberries included. On the side of the cake I kind of cut my strawberries in half so they could stick directly against the cake because um, they were pretty big. Do the same at the bottom and then the fun part we have these little syringes I bought from my pharmacy. They were about a dollar each and I had to go to the pharmacist to grab these. And I have some of that ganache infused with the Boodles Gin. So filling it almost all the way through and then just popping it into my cake tiers. <clears throat> I've added it to the second tier uh, 
and also between the second and the last tier as well. And you're done! And that is how you make a naked cake which is elegant but still modern at the same time. This video was in collaboration with Boodle's Gin. They make really nice gin that can be added to um, dark chocolate, it tastes really nice, or into your berries. And we're kind of celebrating here the whole royal theme. So it's still something that is very simple and elegant, but has a modern twist to it as well, especially with the um, cool little syringes here with the chocolate sauce infused with the Boodle's Gin. I kept it simple specifically because those of you who have just started cake decorating and want to create a tiered cake, this is something that you would really um, find easy to replicate and to work with. So I hope you guys learned something different today and have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you again next week on Tuesday.